you ever wondered where giants live? We're about to see. Let's check out three giant animals and the cool place they call home. Hi, everybody. Bunny and I are about to explore amazing animals in their habitats. That means where they live. It's like their house, their home, sweet home. <laughs> That's right. So come on and join us for Disney Animals in the Fun House. Today's special house is Grasslands. The grasslands in Central Africa are home to lots of animals like... Can you guess which animal that is? Yup, an African elephant. And I bet you can see where Grasslands got its name. There's grass everywhere. <laughs> African elephants can eat about 600 pounds of food a day. That's heavier than a thousand scoops of ice cream. Yum! Grasslands are full of giant animals, but can you guess which one's the tallest? That's right, giraffes. They're the tallest of all. And not just the tallest in the grasslands, they're the tallest land animals in the whole world. And we can't forget the kings and queens of the grasslands. Lions. A lion family is called a pride, and together they hunt for grass-eating animals. Females lead the hunt, and males defend the pride. To scare off intruders, males can roar really loud. <laughs> Today, we saw some of the coolest animals around. African elephants, giraffes, and lions. And we learned that if you eat grass, or you hunt animals that eat grass, or you just really big, the, the grassland, grassland is a perfect home. home. Keep watching to see even more Disney animals and the fun places they call home. Did you know that animals know lots of amazing tricks? Especially tricks for staying cool when it's super hot. Let's see how they do it. Hi, everybody. Bunny and I are about to explore amazing animals in their habitats. That means where they live. It's like their house, their home, sweet home. <laughs> That's right. So come on and join us for Disney Animals in the Fun House. Today's special house is the, the desert. desert. Can you guess which animal gets its name from the porcupine-like spines on its little back? The spiny mouse. In most deserts, it's super hot during the day, but much cooler at night. That's why this little guy is nocturnal. I love a good knock-knock joke. Who's there? <laughs> Being nocturnal means you mostly rest during the day when it's hot, and you're more active at night. Oh, when it's cooler. He's a little mousy genius. The addict's antelope is another genius when it comes to living in a desert home. Its trick? It doesn't need much of the one thing that's hard to find in the desert. Pizza? <laughs> no, not pizza, water. It gets nearly all of it from the food it eats, mostly desert grass. The addicts really is perfect for desert life. People sweat to cool off, but kangaroos have even more tricks to beat the heat. Kangaroos sweat too, but if they get really hot, they can also pant to cool off, just like puppies. <laughs> Today, we saw the spiny mouse, addicts, and kangaroo. And we learned that if you get most of your water from food, mostly rest during the day, and you always keep your cool, then, then the, the desert, desert is a perfect home. Did you know the ocean is full of surprises? Today, we'll see some amazing animals that look or act in surprising ways. Hi, everybody. Bunny and I are about to explore amazing animals in their habitats. That means where they live. It's like their house, their home, sweet home. <laughs> That's right. So come on and join us for Disney Animals in the Fun House. Today's special house is the ocean. You'll find some of the ocean's biggest surprises in coral reefs. A coral reef might look like a bunch of rocks or plants, but surprise, it's actually made out of tiny animals called corals. Bunches of them live really close to each other, like a huge family. And together, they form reefs. 
by joining together with lots of other corals, it creates something that's amazing! A starfish is another ocean animal that's full of surprises. Yup, like the fact that they're also called sea stars because, surprise, starfish aren't fish at all! And it can do something super cool. If one of its arms is hurt really badly, then, surprise, it can grow a brand new one. What's surprising about this clownfish? <laughs> its best friend, the sea anemone, has dangerous tentacles that sting most animals. But the clownfish has special skin that protects it. So, surprise, it almost never gets hurt by its bestie. Today we saw corals, starfish, and clownfish. We learned that ocean animals don't always look like animals. And if you're a great best friend, or you're great at group projects, then the ocean is a perfect home. Do animals love tree houses? <laughs> you bet they do. And for some animals, there's no place like home, and no home like a tree. Hi, everybody. Bunny and I are about to explore amazing animals in their habitats. That means where they live. It's like their house. That's right. So come on and join us for Disney Animals in the Fun House. Today's special house is... Trees! Who doesn't love trees? <laughs> they help give us food, shade on hot days, or even a fun tree house. That's almost as fun as a fun house. <laughs> no matter where trees are, they're a super important part of a habitat. And animals that live in trees have lots of tree houses to choose from. Can you guess what animal loves to sing and build nests for its babies in trees? Yup, you got it! Birds! <laughs> Especially Tabetta Golden Weavers. They live in East Africa, have really strong claws and bills, and they're great builders. They just grab strips of grass or leaves and weave them together to build nests. Then the mommy weaver chooses the nest she likes best, and it has to be super strong. Yup, strong enough to hold all of her eggs and little baby weavers. Why should birds have awful tree fun? Green tree pythons love tree houses too. These snakes live in tropical places where it's really hot. They're bright green, just like leaves, and they spend almost all their time in trees. Green tree pythons can grow over four feet long. That's longer than two cute little dogs and wiener dogs. Today we saw Tabetta golden weavers and green tree pythons. We learned that if you're a great builder, you're you're bright leafy green, or you just really love tree houses, then a, a tree, tree is, is a perfect, perfect home. home. <laughs> Who doesn't love farms? But did you know that animals don't just live on farms? They have cool jobs, too. Come on, let's see what these animals can do. Hi, everybody. Bunny and I are about to explore amazing animals in their habitats. That means where they live. It's like their house. That's right. So come on and join us for Disney Animals in the Fun House. Today's special house is... The Farm! Farms are some of my favorite places because they bring people and animals together. People take care of the animals, and the animals help the people, too. They sure do. Some farm animals help to make food, like milk or eggs. Can you guess an animal that makes eggs? You got it! Chickens! <laughs> If old McDonald has a farm, he probably has chickens. And those chickens are probably not picky eaters. They eat feed, grains, fruits, veggies. Ha! They'll even eat insects, worms, and lizards. Definitely not picky eaters. <laughs> can you guess which of these animals can make milk? <laughs> yup, goats. They make goat milk. And the best part is, if you have goats, you get milk and scarves. Wait, goats can knit? No, <laughs> but people can turn goat hair, called mohair, into super soft scarves. Horses mostly eat grass, hay, and oats. They're fun to ride and great workers. They help farmers get around, but also help ranch hands herd animals like cows, goats, and sheep. 
Today we saw chickens, goats, and horses. We learned that even animals have work to do. So, <laughs> if you lay eggs, your hair makes great scarves, or you're a ranch hand's best friend, then a, a farm, farm is a perfect home. home. Unbelievable owls and color-changing deer. The woods are more magical than you'd think. Hi, everybody. Bunny and I are about to explore amazing animals in their habitats. That means where they live. It's like their house. That's right. So come on and join us for Disney Animals in the Fun House. Today's special house is... The Woods! In lots of fairy tales, animals in the woods can do magical and incredible things. Like talk. Can you guess which animal kind of sounds like it's asking who? <laughs> yup, an owl. The great horned owl may look like it has horns, but those are just really cool feathers. And it's who isn't really talking. That's called a hoot. Owls hoot to mark their territory. Ooh, ooh. That's pretty awesome. Owls have super sight and hearing. Their necks can twist really far. Fringes on their wings make them super quiet flyers so they can hide or sneak up on other animals. Wait, so owls have super vision, super twisty necks, and can fly through the woods making almost no sound? Yup, owls are pretty impressive. Well, here's another magical animal. The elk's deer lives in Southeast Asia and has fur that changes color. They're light in summer, but turn dark in winter. Plus, they grow brand new antlers every spring. <laughs> That's pretty magical if you ask me. Today, we saw a great horned owl and an elk's deer. We learned that animals found in fairy tales can be pretty magical in real life. If you're a super quiet flyer or you love changing colors, then the woods are a perfect home. <laughs> That's all for now. Keep watching to see even more Disney animals and the fun places they call home. See, see you, you next time. time. Did you know amazing animals could be right in your backyard? From mighty hoppers to super cool flyers, gardens are full of little animals having big adventures. Hi, everybody. Bunny and I are about to explore amazing animals in their habitats. That means where they live. It's like their house. That's right. So come on and join us for Disney Animals in the Fun House. Today's special house is the garden. When small animals go on big adventures, a garden can be their home away from home. A garden can be just about anywhere with sun and room to plant things, even a backyard. Can you guess which animal you might find hopping in the grass near a garden? <laughs> yup, a grasshopper. One type of grasshopper is a lover grasshopper, and they are big. They can be almost four inches long, as long as a yummy pickle. That might not sound big, but for a bug, it's giant. The lover's bright color is a warning. It tells other animals that, unlike yummy pickles, <laughs> they should stay away. A garden can be a perfect home away from home for monarch butterflies. Monarchs migrate. That means they make big trips from one home to another. Every fall, they fly south all the way from Canada to Mexico. In spring, big groups of them fly back north to lay their eggs. And gardens are great places for monarch butterflies to stop along the way. They may be little, but monarchs have big time adventures. Today, we saw giant lover grasshoppers and amazing monarch butterflies. If you love bright colors, long trips, and yummy plants, then the, the garden, garden is, is a perfect, perfect home. home. Want to know who has the coolest hiding places? Let's dig into the secret world of Animal burrows. Hi, everybody. Bunny and I are about to explore amazing animals in their habitats. That means where they live. It's like their house. That's right. So come on and join us for Disney Animals in the Fun House. Today's special house is... Burrows! Play and hide and seek is so much fun. Today, we'll see animals that are champions at it because they live in a burrow isn't just a good hiding place. It's a special kind of animal home that's usually underground. 
The gopher tortoise is hide-and-seek champion number one. Most animals can run and hide if they need to, but a tortoise is too slow. So slow that if it hit a home run, it would take over an hour just to run to first base. But it wins a best neighbor prize, since its burrow can become a home for its snakes, frogs, or even owls. <laughs> Hide-and-seek champion number two is the giant baboon spider. You can find it in West Africa. But if it doesn't want to be found, it makes a loud hissing noise by rubbing its legs together. It uses its spidey legs for something even more cool, digging burrows. It doesn't spin webs like most spiders, but uses silk webbing in its burrow. Hide-and-seek champion number three is the aardvark. Aardvarks have claws that are like shovels, perfect for digging. <laughs> a burrow is a fun place to hide or look for food and a great place to keep your cool. <laughs> Today, we saw the gopher tortoise, giant baboon spider, and aardvark! <laughs> we learned that if you're a master digger, a cool web slinger, or just a really good neighbor, then burrows are a perfect home! What if you could live in water and play in the sun or fly high in the sky? Well, wetland animals can, and living in two worlds is twice the fun! Hi, everybody! Bunny and I are about to explore amazing animals in their habitats. That means where they live. It's like their house. That's right. So come on and join us for Disney Animals in the Fun House. Today's special house is... Wetlands! Wetlands. Some animal homes have dry land, and some have lots of water. But when a home has both, then it's a special habitat called a wetland. Wetlands help clean our water and keep the earth healthy. So they're super important. And some of our favorite animals are wetland, wetland superstars, superstars, like Rosie and Spoonbills. Their super long legs are great for wading in water, and they have special spoon-shaped beaks that help them scoop up tasty seafood. They eat so much shrimp, it turns their natural pink feathers even more pink. Another wetland superstar is the American crocodile. Crocodiles spend most of their time in the water, so they're great swimmers. They can hold their breath underwater for two whole hours. Our next wetland superstar is the Peninsula Cooter. A Peninsula Cooter is a kind of turtle. It lives in Florida. The name Cooter may have come from an African word, Cooter, which means turtle. They're perfect for life in the water. They even have webbing between their toes, like ducks. <laughs> and like crocodiles, they're really strong swimmers. Today, we saw the Roseate Spoonbill, American Crocodile, and Peninsula Cooter. We learned that if you're a great swimmer, you can hold your breath a super long time, or you just really love shrimp, then wetlands are a perfect, perfect home. home. <laughs> From color-changing cuties to blue cuties, they may be the strangest, treetop-lovingest, wildest animals on Earth. Hi, everybody. Bunny and I are about to explore amazing animals in their habitats. That means where they live. It's like their house. That's right. So come on and join us for Disney Animals in the Fun House. Today's special house is... The Rainforest. Rainforests are some of the coolest and most amazing animal homes on Earth. Lots of different kinds of animals live in them, from birds and frogs to monkeys and butterflies. Animals like blue poison frogs. Blue poison frogs live in Peru. And even seeing one is cool. Blue animals are rare. That means there aren't many of them in the world. So that's why I never see blue giraffes. <laughs> and this little froggy's bright blue skin isn't just pretty. It's a warning to other animals that it's poisonous and not for eating. Being blue is pretty awesome, but you know what's even better? Being whatever color you want. This plated leaf chameleon is from Madagascar. And like other chameleons, it can do something amazing. Change the color of its skin. Even their tongues are super cool. How far can you stick out your tongue? Pretty far? Well, a chameleon's tongue can be twice as long as its whole body. If you're stretched that far, you could dunk basketballs with your tongue. 
And their tongues can move super fast, even faster than a race car. Today, we saw blue frogs and awesome chameleons. We learned that if you like being blue, or you just happen to have a super fast tongue, <laughs> then a rainforest is a perfect home. Incredible elephants and hard to find okapis. Forests are home to some very interesting animals. Hi, everybody. Bunny and I are about to explore amazing animals in their habitats. That means where they live. It's like their house. That's right. So come on and join us for Disney Animals in the Fun House. Today's special house is Forest. Animals that live in forests are so unusual and interesting. I think trunks are very interesting. Can you guess which animal has a long nose called a trunk? <laughs> yup, an elephant. The Asian elephant's trunk can smell and breathe like your nose. Plus, trunks are great for drinking, grabbing food, and making trumpeting sound. <laughs> To stay cool, Asian elephants cover themselves in mud, roll around in water, and flap their ears back and forth. <laughs> they love eating roots, grasses, leaves, and fruit. There's another really special animal in the forest. Is it a zebra? No, it's an okapi. It has stripes like a zebra, but it's related to the giraffe. Don't their heads look alike? Yeah. Plus, they have big ears with super hearing. And like giraffes, they have a long tongue that reaches up to high branches for leaves and berries. Their stripes help them blend into the forest. Great for a game of hide and seek. Today, we saw an Asian elephant and an okapi. If you love trumpeting trunks <coughs> or hide and seek, then forests are a perfect home. See you next time! <laughs> Bumbering tortoises and leaping lemurs. Islands are home to some very cool animals. Hi, everybody. Bunny and I are about to explore amazing animals in their habitats. That means where they live. It's like their house. That's right. So come on and join us for Disney Animals in the Fun House. Today's special house is... Islands. An island has water all around it. And they have more than beaches. You can find mountains, forests, and a lot of interesting animals. Can you guess which animal carries a hiding place with them? Yes, a tortoise. The giant Galapagos tortoise can hide inside their giant shell. It's kind of like a house they carry with them. I know all about carrying a house with you. <laughs> Tortoises like muddy water to keep cool and bright sunshine to stay warm. And tortoises don't have teeth. They have beaks, bony parts of their mouth that mash up their food. Hmm, do you think they brush their beaks? <laughs> Gosh, I hope so. <gasps> Look, there's another island animal that loves relaxing, the ringtail lemur. Ringtail lemurs spend most of their time in groups, on the ground, or hopping from tree to tree. They can walk on all four legs or sit up on two legs. And they love sitting in the sun. They eat mostly fruit, leaves, flowers, and insects. Today, we saw the giant Galapagos tortoise and the ringtail lemur. So if you love hiding in shells or climbing trees, then islands are, are a perfect, perfect home. home. See you next time. Fast mice, quick squirrels, and soaring pigeons. Cities are home to speedy animals. Hi, everybody. Bunny and I are about to explore amazing animals in their habitats. That means where they live. It's like their house. That's right. So come on and join us for Disney Animals in the Fun House. Today's special house is... Cities! Cities.
cities are full of buildings, people, and cars, all moving fast. Yup, and there are fast animals living there, too. Can you guess which one of these animals lives in cities and is small enough to fit in your hand? Yes, a mouse. Mice have large, rounded ears that can help them hear anything moving around them. They also have whiskers that are very sensitive to anything they touch and help them get around. And they get around so fast, just like another animal that lives in the cities, the squirrel. Squirrels dig holes to hide food like nuts and seeds to get ready for winter, so they'll have all the food they need. Some squirrels use holes in trees to store their food. There's another animal in city trees, pigeons. Pigeons love cities. There are lots of tall buildings to sit on and food to eat. Some pigeons like to be alone, others like to have friends with them. They can travel in groups of hundreds of other birds. Today, we saw mice, squirrels, and pigeons. We learned that animals found in cities can move really fast. So, if you have sensitive whiskers, love hiding food, or just enjoy hanging out with friends, then cities, cities are, are a perfect, perfect home. home. See you next time. Playful mountain gorillas and easy to spot zebras. Mountains are home to some incredible animals. Hi, everybody. Bunny and I are about to explore amazing animals in their habitats. That means where they live. It's like their house. That's right. So come on and join us for Disney Animals in the Fun House. Today's special house is... Mountains. Mountains. Can you guess which large furry animal lives in the mountains and eats bamboo and plants? Yes, a gorilla. Mountain gorillas have really thick hair that keeps them warm in the cold weather. Wow, baby mountain gorillas are so cute. They have a lot of fun playing, climbing trees, and beating their chairs. <laughs> that does sound like fun. There's another animal that loves to have fun in the mountains, the mountain zebra. Look at all those stripes. Even though they may look alike, every zebra's black and white stripes are a little bit different. When zebras are born, their legs are almost as long as their parents. And right away, they can walk or even run. And zebras use body language to show their feelings. When their ears are pulled back, they might be upset. If they're straight up, they're calm. So cool. Today, we saw mountain gorillas and mountain zebras. If you love climbing trees or have black and white stripes, then mountains, mountains are, are a perfect, perfect home. That's all for now. Keep watching to see even more Disney animals and the fun places they call home. See you next time.